every job we take, we make some new friends. We get the ball, we score the goals, and then it's on again. Maybe tomorrow we'll get a brand new start. Until tomorrow, the aim is he would park. Hello folks, welcome back to yet another episode of my Football Manager 2020 Game Save with Blackburn Rovers and today, Wazoo! That's right, yeah, I did say we'd come back in December, but uh, I've got international duties. I'm such a man in demand. Uh, and we can't miss this. We can't miss Argentina up against Wazoo in the old uh, World Cup qualifying campaign, can we? So we've got the double header. Um, you have not missed nothing, so there's no place, no, no time for catch-ups. It's just straight to the deep end with Brazil against Argentina in a fruity, fruity match. So here we go, boys and girls. Over the course of time, uh, these two sides have played each other, what, 11 times? Uh, Argentina have won six of them. Brazil have won four of them. that has been one draw, but it's not been with me in charge. Uh, we currently sit top of the table out in the World Cup qualifying campaign, of course, after our 8-1 demolition of Paraguay in our last uh, game in charge. Of course, we uh, we scraped through against Peru, but hopefully all those hoodoos are gone. Uh, this match, I believe, yeah, is taking place in South. I thought it was Mumbai. I thought I read Mumbai. I was like, what the heck's that all about? But anyway, up against Argentina, of course, no more Messi these days. Uh, but they've got some other talented little uh, badges on their back, on their uh, in their crew here. Can we see their value? So it was there all this time. It was there all this time, people. You didn't say anything. Uh, they do have some tasty little players, including this guy, um, Maybe boy plays for Bayern, Argentinian, formerly of, of course, Racing, out in uh, his home country. Also played at Lille as well. Was he there when we were there? He might have been uh, a £6 million pickup back then, but Bayern have spent £62 million pounds to bring him in there. This guy's a guy that we know, of course, way back when. He now plays for Barcelona. Yep, I bought him for Olympic Marseille. That's right. He did score goals. He scored goals for funds. He's absolutely criminal, uh, and I don't like to play and end up against him. But I did bring him in. I know an eye for a bargain. That's right. Uh, any other ones? All these orange ones are on the guys that are on my short list. Of course, not really for Rovers at this point, but maybe in the future. Uh, so we're going to take them on over at our own place. Uh, let's have a look at the team. So here we go, boys. Uh, Tash, let's go between Stinker Sub at left back. How Carlos alongside Jose Paulau and Jan Kuto at the back. Ru Rey alongside Paulau. Uh, Vincius Jr. Leidson alongside Tutti on, on the three man attack with Alex leading the line. Of course, Junior Bramado is just making up the numbers on the bench, but he might get a cameo if we are cruising uh, for a victory. This one's going to be nervous. We're going to start attacking because we don't. We're going to do it the Brazilian way, boys. The Brazilian way. Let's show how it's done. So up against Di Julie and the boys. Martinez at the back there. He's a real player. I don't know. We have Vincent Jr. He's a real player. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I do have a, a very inexperienced Brazilian squad, but they are quality. Uh, you know, it's full of quality. Um, I'm hoping they can uh, deliver the goods. We actually dropped down a spot to 11th in the world. But after that 8-1 demolition, we got back into the top 10, which is great, which we need to... There we go. Free kick. Brazil, you know what to do. You know what to do. Activate. Free kick. Cheat mode. Come on. Alex, thinking about it. Oh, I didn't think he would do it. But he does. He's Brazilian. He does what he does on the tin. He scores free kick. Balami. Balmies. Up to second. Drop down a second. We're winning and we're going down a second. That's not, that's not mathematical. Maybe someone else scored at the same time. But that, my friends, is criminal. We're back up to top. There we go. Here come Argentina, though, thinking about getting themselves an equaliser. Lo Celso still in the game. Hanst. Luzbeck over the top. Gustavo cleans his lines. Only as far as an Argentinian man in midfield. Luzbeck to Suavave. To Julie. Lays it off. Goes for goal. Great save. Juan Carlos clears his lines. Uh, go on. Deal with it. Nope. Over the top, Argentina pressing. Sicker, sicker to Matey Boy, Cabrera. Oh, it's an easy goal. It's Matey Boy. Criminal. I should have just left you rot in Argentina, you clown. Oh, straight away back in the game. Straight away. Uh, of course, Paulau injured. He is actually a former teammate of uh, De Julie. He's picked up an injury, but he's playing. He's soldiering on at the moment. Linton over to Gustavo. Rure over the top, lovely. Can we get a cross in? Can we get a cross in? We can, but it's not dealt with nicely. Gustavo keeps it out on the left-hand side. He thinks about a cross. He's tackled. It's disgraceful. I want to bring on Bramado, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to let these guys do it. Come on. Come on. Vincius Junior. 
Oh, smash dot dash dot Argentina. We're coming for you, bastards, I tell you. No offense. <sighs> valuable goal, boys. Valuable goal. They are dominating possession, but we are to create more opportunities uh, for goals. But uh, so far, as we edge closer to half time, De Julie is out. Uh, I don't wish any injury upon anybody, but uh, I don't know. I've got no disrespect to the guy, but I don't like playing against him because he's yeah, he's got a great he's a great talent. Anyway, two one up, half time. Brazil are in charge. Second half, so third goal would be great. We'll probably put this game to bed. Next goal, uh, basically next goal, massive. Spreads it to the right side. It's picked up by Tutti. Tutti Fruity. Can he get the cross in? Can he get the cross in? He pulls it back. Oh, it's crawled in there. Linson. Linson gets the goal. It's 3 1. That's what we're talking about. Now I can have a big a goal for this bastard. It's not beer. It's not booze. It's coffee. It's early in the morning ish. Of all the games I must win as Brazil, it's this one at home. I don't mind losing the game at Argentina. That's fine. But this is the game you've got to win. You can't lose at home to the bitter rivals. Computer's lagging. Hopefully it'll make it through because I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to have to redo any of this shit. Let's just get through this game. Ecuador piling on the pressure. So Chile still uh, unbeaten so far. Who do we take on? I think it's Chile next. But let's not think about that. We still got to get over the line here. Computer is lagging like can be. We might ease off uh, a little bit. It's thinking about it. So, yeah, looking good. Looking good for Brazil at the moment. Um, actually, hang on, hang on. Had it clear. Dealt with lovely. Linson, Linson. Thinks about it. Oh, he slips it in nicely for Tutti Frutti. Tutti Frutti. Over. But I'm under a bit of pressure as Brazil manager. I'm at C plus rating, which uh, this would hopefully give me a bit of a boost. And maybe push me towards the B minus or, or, or C. Well, hopefully a B minus. Um, sixty-eight minutes. I'll wait till this this one's done, and then I'll bring on some changes. Oh, Palau is injured, but he keeps on going. Let's go for goal. There it is. That's the winner. It's four-one, boys. It's four-one. We're cruising for the bruising. Uh, Garces can come on. Dino. Dino Dino, he's an attacking flip, flipping dude and he can play at centre back, so that's that's ability through team. We'll check this guy as well one. Look at that. That is that is beautiful. That is what we wanted. A, a cracking home performance to uh, 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 just kind of wipe our memories a little bit from uh, from the Peru shambles where we just got over the line against ten men. Yes, confirm my tactical changes, please. And we'll actually ease off a little bit just you know we don't want to embarrass them maybe we do maybe we do maybe we do alex free kick duties oh bramado could have come on that's what i should have done shit 15 minutes to go 4-1 in control chile are 4-1 in uh paraguay at the moment as well but um yeah it's looking good looking good for brazil under me Lovely, oh, not really a good, good long clearance. I thought I was going to go straight to feet. Blocked. Ernst out to Sicker. Lovely slide. That's a fair challenge, mate. Fair challenge. I can't believe they gave a penalty for that. I can't believe it. It took the ball and everything. Save it. Save it. Save it. Oh, 4-2 makes it a little look a little bit more decent for them. It's not a 4-2 game, boys. It's really like a 6-1 six, six game. We should be all over them. We should be uh, home and dry. They might they might snatch something here. Oh, bastards are actually making me forced to up my game a little bit. Don't give me a nervy last couple of minutes, please. Oh, sicker. Oh, let's get out of it. Get out of it, mate. Get out. Cheating bastards. Handball. That's what it was. Handball. Should be, should be open and dry, though. I know, yeah, two goals conceded. A little bit sloppy. One's a, a dubious penalty. But does Julie, you know what? I'll give him a goal because because he's one of me old boys. Easy, though. 4-2 win. 
piece of piss. So after those results, look at Ch Chile put five past Paraguay, Ecuador put four past Venezuela, Colombia put three past uh, Bolivia, and a new new draw between Uruguay and uh, Thingamajig, Peru. This is the situation as it stands, though. Uh, we're gonna be taking on, I think, Chile next. Yeah, it's looking good. Argentina, not great a start for them, just 4.7 possible nine, so. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. See what develops with them. Okay, folks. Next up for us, it is also unbeaten Chile. This is actually gonna be a very difficult game. Probably one of our hardest. Uh, definitely our hardest so far. Um, and despite our amazing performance against um, Argentina, the board is still they're not not fussed. They're just they're just they're like ruthless. Um, so I need to keep on winning uh, to get them on my side. But uh, a defeat today could actually see us drop down to uh, at least fifth in the table. But I'm hoping we can uh, we can keep our unbeaten run going. Um, well, we did actually lose once against the United States, but that doesn't count as a, as a, as a Mickey Mouse game. Literally. Okay, got a bit of selection product, uh, problems. Palau is out. Uh, we actually brought in Mantavani. Uh, so give me a minute while I rejig the team. Not much rejigging, but Tarsiercio remains in goal. Gustavo at left back. Lecho, Jose Palau at the back. Jan Kuto at right back. Augusto alongside Rue Ray. Uh, Vichy Schuh on the left. Mantavani on the right. Rickson Garces alongside uh, uh, in the middle. And Alex, of course, up top. Um, yeah, yeah, so far so good. Goals, Alex has got a couple. Uh, Tutti's got three, he, he makes it on the bench. Mantovani gets the nod today. Let's do it. We're gonna, we're gonna start positive. Not too much, because I'm, I'm worried about Chile. Okay, up against Chile, no more Alex Sanchez. Uh, all of these, oh, they're all regents, all Regen City. Okay, we, got, we got this guy, we got this guy. He's got four goals in two games for Chile. I don't wanna click on him because, um, yeah, it's a guy I bought from Marseille, wasn't it? Wasn't it Marseille or Leipzig, one of the two? They all blur together to me. Okie dokie, smoky, choky, loki, dokie, floki, moki, koki. Yeah, let's do it. Let's fall in love. Okay, here comes Chile already. They'll be wanting to impress in front of their fans. Bit of pressure from Brazil. Oh, snips in there, but still uh, Chile with possession. Oh, it's eventually broken up. Rue Ray. Rue Ray thinks about it. Loves him to the left, but nobody's there. Zanunga. Here comes Chile. They're decent. They're a decent team. Be on our best. Be on our best. Be on our best. Don't take no piss. Don't know the rest. Oh, is that all it is? It was. Push the shot wide. So from one old striker to another. Deal with it. Yeah, I'll take a point all day long on this one. No questions. But I do believe we can, we have got... Oh, deal with it. I was going to say, I do believe we've got the makings to win this game, but... We just need a, a little bit of a, a ride the storm a little bit. 20 minutes down. It's all chilly at the moment. All chilly, like I expected. They are uh, a tricky old unit. Oh, that's not the way to do it. Come on then, keeps. Come on then, keeper. Do me a favour. Do me a solid. Oh, great save. Great save. Never in doubt. Never in doubt, pal. Who missed that? Please don't tell me it was Ortiz. It was uh, somebody. I don't know. Come on, Brazil. What's all this shit about? We are being pegged back. Oh, Ortiz does get the goal. Shambles. Straight into to demand more action. Ortiz did miss the penalty. So kind of a bit of a lifeline for him. Go on, son. Oh, that would have been an absolute screamer. Because keeper did not move. Moya. Goal kick for Chile. Broken up by Mantovani. Back to our keeper who's done okay with that penalty. Saved a lovely layoff. Keep it going. Dar says, what you got? Rure. Back to the back. Jan Kuto lows off to Garces. Garces thinks about it. No. Rure. Uh, pulls it back. Alex is there. Shit. He's that Bromado would have chucked that in the back of the bins. I'm going to bring him on. I'm going to bring him on at this rate. Everybody needs a veteran striker to score goals. Everybody. Look at your Zlatans in the world. Come on then, lads. 
All right, uh, before half time, get an equaliser. We've not been in this game, but we are starting to assert our dominance. <laughs> Vincius Junior smashes that in the back of the bins. That's what I'm talking about. It's two and two for him, I think. He got the penalty last time against Argy Bargies. No offence, sorry. No, that's bad. Um. Chili. Work it. This is straight from, from kickoff. Back to the keeper. A mistake. We need a mistake. We need a mistake from Chile. Lumped forward. Here they come. Ortiz is uh, ripping me apart. We should get back to that. Nicely. Lovely layoff to Vincius Jr. Great control on the left-hand side. He goes for it. He starts to maraud forward. He lays it off for Garces. Who lays it off? Who lays it off? And he should have tucked it in the back of the bins there. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It's lagging. The computer is lagging. Montavani with the corner. Over the top of everybody. And it'll be cleared. Cleared your lines. All square. We do still sit top of the table. Ecuador are uh, still nil-nil against Paraguay, which is a bit of a shambles because the Paraguay have been absolutely atrocious so far. In fact, Ecuador will just take the lead. As I said that. As I said that. So Ecuador will lead the way. But however, we could be about to strike here just before half time. Layoff. Can't get it forward. Picked up at the back there by Leccio. Over to Gustavo. Thinks about it. Back to Leccio. Thinks about it. Goes forward. Lovely. There we go. Agustu Zusto. He's deep. Vicious Jr. Thinks about the cross. He gets the cross in. It's in the back of the net. But it's been struck off. Master Marcelo Matavani's goal has been ruled out. For having a little bit of a squabble with another player. But so far, we're starting to turn the screw against uh, uh, Chile. It was all them in the first 20 minutes. Uh, 25 minutes, I should say. And then it's been Brazil all the way to the end. 1-1 one, one so far. Half time. Argentina. They're still not winning. Second half, second half. <sighs> Looking at my bench, Tutti Fruity might have to come on. I might throw on Bramado because Alex has been a bit of a letdown. Give him around about 60, 60, 65 minutes, 70 minutes, something like that. Corner, Mantovani. Oh, it's a great grab by Moya. Chili could counter here. Big long kick towards the striker, but it's dealt with by the Brazilian back line. Kuto to Gustavo. Stalls lays it off for Finchers Jr. He goes on an amazing run himself. Goes for goal himself, does he? It should be a goal of the season if that goes in the back of the net. Great save. 60 minutes on the clock. Is it time to make changes? I don't know. I don't know. Mantovani whips the cross in. Alex heads it clear. Not in the right direction. Here comes Zunga for Chile. And he's broken up there by Augusto. Still 1-1 as we enter the final 30 minutes. Ecuador running away with it now as Paraguay have been confirmed as dog shit. Make some changes. So Alex is going to come off. I am going to bring on Bramado. I know it's a, it's a gamble, but uh, I think I think he is a goal scorer. And I'm going to bring on Tutti Frutti as well. So we'll see how those boys respond to that. Final 25 minutes. You've got 25 minutes to find a winner. Just don't lose it. Don't lose it. Argentina have got the goal. Back in the game, I would say. 75 minutes. Come on, boys. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Fuentes. Hey. Over the top. Well, well, well. I actually... Uh, Pressed, pressed the stop of the record um, midway through that game. I thought I was pressing pause, but instead I pressed stop. Um, and then, yep, yeah, didn't, uh, you know, because I've got two computers here, we didn't actually see the end of the game. So, yeah, sorry about that, boys. Sorry about that. But we did actually end up winning that game 2-1. Uh, and you missed it. You missed it. I'll have to show you the goal now because because I completely missed it. Um, yeah, I made changes. So I do... I, I, Technical snafus. You know, it, it's not easy, folks. It's not easy juggling three computers and all this kind of jazz. But anyway, we did win the game. Uh, you missed the, the the winner. We were all over them. We were all over them, and it was just a matter of time. I made the they made the calls. Three substitutes, and they all came into a uh, good effect to to bring them the three points and to maintain our one hundred percent record. Um, here it is. Well, that's the first goal, of course, the equaliser. And then the second half, seventy six minutes. Not long. Not long after I paused it. Um, Bramado 
sets up Tutti. Tutti Fruity, my two subs, joining together to get the three points. And a massive victory for, for Brazil to keep us 100%. Uh, we do sit now, top of the table, out in our little uh, uh, World Cup qualifying campaign. Level on points, though, with Ecuador. Um, in the same match day, of course, Argentina drew with Uruguay. Uh, and, of course, Ecuador did beat Paraguay. Chile, uh, they could uh, they lost to us. Yes, and they did. But, yeah, I do apologise about the older technical snafus. It's yes. But, anyway, from here on in, it's going to be uh, uh, Rovers uh, because Brazil... Brazil, next action for us is all the way in the month of March. Uh, we might have some friendlies and all that, but I'm not going to show you those. We'll just show you the important games, which are these World Cup qualifiers. But until then, boys and girls, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that thumbs up. If you are new, smash the old subscribe. New videos every single day on the channel, whether it is Brazil with the FM, predictions, Rovers, Championship, Champions League, whatever it is. We've got it all here, babies, under one roof. So smash the old subscribe, smash the thumbs up. Of course, smash the old little bell so you don't miss a beat. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, Championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope. <laughs>